told you God wasn't listening. He told you the heavens are brass. He told you you're like a stepchild. And God hears Pastor Ronnie, but he doesn't hear you. And he's a liar because there's no big eyes and little use in the kingdom of God. And all are equal in this sight and all are precious. And we're all on the same plane. He hears you. He heard you. I said he heard you. He heard you when you cried out for your promise. And though you may have laid down your promise and lost it for a moment. And you may have done some backpedaling. God is the wind that has your back. He has your back. And he sent me this, this morning with this message to tell you that you may not be able to keep what you do not have. But as you call out to him in humility and say, God, I let go of my promise, but I want it back. Give it back to me. Break through the lies of hell in my mind. I know now that you really were hearing me. I've heard a word from God. I've heard from your word that says in Mark 11, 24, what things do ever you desire when you pray? Believe and you will receive them. It doesn't say what time I will receive them, but it says you will receive them. So I've heard your word today and I stand on the solid rock of your word, not on the wishy-washy foundation of the winds of this world, but I get a grip this morning and I stand on the word of God and I say give me back by your grace and mercy, but you're my promise and I take my promise and I take a step forward I'm getting my promise and I take a step forward I'm back where I was with my promise, now I'm walking on praying Prophesy. My promise is coming true in the name of Jesus. My son is coming home to Jesus. My daughter is getting saved. My grandchild is coming off drugs and alcohol. My financial breakthrough is on its way. My marriage is receiving deliverance. Everything that you promised, it is happening now in the name of Jesus. So I'm walking forward with my promise and I'm keeping it. You can have it, devil, in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. You need to tell the devil you can't have it. You can't have it. And when he stole it from you, all is not lost. And you're not put out to pasture somewhere just to, just to roam and roll into heaven by... By the skin of your teeth and just barely make it. No, 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 no. God's saying, come on with me. Get a grip. And come on with me. And take it back. Take it back. Oh, if somebody just needs to take it back. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just take it back. That's right. That's right, Brother Ronnie. How do I take it back? If we're listening close. Come on here. I feel it needs to be reiterated. You humble yourself. You That's just, right. oh, you just submit. Yes, Lord. I can't keep what I don't have. God, I lost it. Oh, Lord. Yeah. But I'm not lost because I love you. That's right. I love you. That's right. And He says, I know you do. I know you love me. And I love you. And that's why, as you humble yourself, I will give you back everything that you've lost. And watch this. And more. And more. Yeah. And more. And more. Okay. And when you have it, That's right. don't let go of it. Keep it. Right. Praise God. Help Lord. Yes. Keep it. Yes, Lord. Stay the core. Keep your mission. Keep your mission. Stay the core. Yep. Tell us to understand. This word, I just looked up that word keep. We know what it means just to bring it home. Continue. Our calls to continue in a specified course. So to keep is to continue. I continue to have it. Or I continue on a specific course. Keep. Honor or fulfill a commitment or undertaking. So this goes along with keep your mission. When you came to Jesus, he gave you a mission. That's right. Come on now. He gave us 
a commission. All right. The root of that is mission. So the co the great commission is to go into all the world. That's right. That's preach the gospel. That's right. Make disciples, baptize. Yeah. That's what he said. Amen. That is ultimately the commit. That is the commission of Christ to the church, and the root of that is mission. So that is ultimately our mission to go to win the lost, to disciple them, yeah. baptize them, to make converts, to bear fruit. Amen. And so every other specified mission that God gives to the variety of believers, as much as there are a variety of believers within the church body, there are a variety of missions, gifts, and callings. And they all come under that great commission. Right? Yes. 